Hello, my name is Carissa Hoffman. I'm the executive director here at the McPherson Opera House. Excited to see all of you here today. Uh, the McPherson Opera House took great pride in nominating Joe French for Philanthropist of the Year. Joe contributes hours and hours of her time and energy to community organizations. The nonprofit organizations that she volunteers at could only be maintained and successful with volunteers like Joe. She truly sets an ex excellent example for all of us. Now a little bit about Joe to let you kind of know why she's such a great choice for this award. Joe moved to McPherson with her family at the age of six. McPherson is the only community that she has really known. She attended schools here and raised a family. She also worked within pharmaceuticals at Sterling, which is now Pfizer, for 43 and a half years until she retired in 2021. McPherson is her home, and you know that because you can see you're immersed within her community from the beginning. In October of 2021, she started volunteering at Apartment 6, a consignment and resale shop. She volunteers two days a week for more than three hours a day. Joe works more hours a week than most of the any other volunteers. When she works there, she is responsible for straightening up the basement area, putting out new items for sale. She also volunteers for the shows here at the Opera House as a ticket scanner, usher, and anything else we really need from her. She assists our office manager and events coordinator, Jolie Green, in recruiting volunteers to work at our shows on the nights at the Opera House. Uh, two years ago, Joe started volunteering at the American Legion as a member of the Lady Auxiliary. She helps at many of the events, such as burger nights, veteran nights, steaks night, wine tasting, bingo, car shows, and the toy run. Joe also brings baked items for these events when needed. In addition to volunteering, Joe collects items for the Veterans Hospital, helps in the American Legion put up and take down the flags at the cemetery for national holidays. She also dono donates toys for tots. Joe is more than just someone who volunteers to fill time. She takes pride in her work. She does these for non all of this for nonprofit organization and she works hard to preserve these preserve these organizations within our community. When asked, her fellow volunteers say that she is a great worker with a good attitude and she gets a job done. She truly cares about what she is doing and she makes a positive impact on the organizations that she volunteers with. Jo has the qualities of a true philanthropist. She cares about our community, the Opera House, Apartment 6, and the American Legion. Her charitable work has made a difference in each organization, and I am honored to announce Joe French as a 2023 Philanthropist of the Year. Thank you, Joe. Please come up here. <laughs> it's a hugging kind of night. To honor you, Joe, we have given you a certificate, and then we have given you a book called The Butterfly Effect, which is one of our favorites in the office. And then we're also giving a grant to the Opera House in the amount of $1,000 in your honor. Good evening. I'm so honored to have my work recognized in this way by receiving the Philanthropist of the Year Award. I'm also very grateful for the group of volunteers that I work with at Apartment 6, at the Opera House, and at American Legion. Volunteers are the backbone of this com the community, and we need everybody to try and give their time and talent when they can to any organization. Thank you all for coming and be I'm nervous as heck, sorry. <laughs> thank you for all being here to share in this occasion, and thank you. <laughs> 